What's up agents, Patrick Wolf here. Welcome to another Division 2 build video. Today's build video is going to be the Orbital Rifle build. This is going to be a rifle build that is based around PvE content. Very hardcore PvE content, the raid, heroic missions, all that good stuff. You can play with a solo or in a group. It's extremely potent, extremely strong and it utilizes various mechanics in the game. Like the Orbit Pistol. Uh, we're going to be using boomerang on the rifle. We're going to be combining gear pieces that give us massive damage buffs. And it's going to be crazy. You can hit massive, massive numbers as like, well, as I will show you, as you saw in the gameplay and what I'll show you at the end of the video. So let's get into this build video. So guys, this build is very, very good uh, damage wise. It's actually really, really strong. Uh, you don't actually need a lot of tankiness with this build. You just want to be dishing out as much damage as possible. So we're going to go for the sharpshooter. Make sure all of it's active. Remember guys, we get more headshot damage. That's important. And then we want to make sure that we have everything else active. I'm sure you guys have everything active by now. Then we're going to be using the tactician. You guys know me. I like using the tactician, especially for sniper bolts. Works really well. You can you can see where all the enemies are, so you can't really get flanked. Uh, there's lines that attach to all the enemies, so it's very good. Or should I say lasers? It looks really good, and it just helps you a lot. So make sure that we've got, this is my rifle active. Very important. And then we're going to get into the bolt. How does this build work? I'm going to go over how it works first before we go over each individual piece. All right, guys, so it's a 971. Now, remember, these build videos that I bring out are my opinion, my experience, and the way I like to play. You guys need to use it as a template, maybe use it as an idea to adapt and change it to fit your play style. So we're going to be focusing around the classic M1A. Extremely good gun. It's my favorite. Uh, remember, guys, there is a perfect boomerang talent, but I prefer this gun. You can use the named weapon with perfect boomerang. That's up to you guys. I just prefer using this gun. 75% uh, compared to 50. It's massive amount. So definitely go for it, but my personal preference. So we've got boomerang. Critical hits have a 50% chance to return the bullet to the magazine. If the bullet is returned to the magazine, the next shot has 50% increased damage. This is a must. Now, if you guys didn't know, rifles stack crit damage. Whenever you make a rifle build, a DPS rifle build, crit damage is extremely important. Uh, be, you're going to see how we're going to get our crit chance. It's quite interesting. So make sure to have this active. Jazz hands is just nice for reload speed. You can put whatever you want. Maybe spam with Allegro. It's up to you guys. Uh, how are we going to mod it? Mod it however you want. Crit damage and stability. Remember, guys, rifles, accuracy, stability, weapon handling are all good for rifles. So make sure you put all of that onto the gun. Nemesis is going to be the secondary. You need to put this mod right here, guys. The ACOG 4x scope it gives you optimal range and it utilizes the extra uh, headshot damage, 15% from the holstered Nemesis. So this is where the build gets very, very interesting, guys. So the way you use this is some people might call it clunky. I keybind my keyboard so that I push one button and I swap from my pistol to my primary. It works extremely well. It's fun to use. It's different. You know, yes, it's not as quick as using a normal, just spammy, spamming your gun, but it's very fun to use and it works extremely well. The damage, the numbers I've been hitting with this gun is astronomical for a rifle. It's scary. So the Orbit, if you guys didn't know, I got this from the Thieves' Den vendor. This perfect finisher talent is what we're going to be focusing this build around. So swapping from this weapon. So you'll be using this weapon. You can hit 100,000 to, to elites to the head. If you guys even have more DTE than me, you'll hit more, bigger numbers. So you can kill them very easily. Uh, make sure there is a blueprint for the barrel. You can get more bullets. I'm sure it's more bullets. I don't actually have it. I need to go and farm that because it'll help me a lot, even though I can kill them in about two or three shots on heroic. So it's very, very good. So swapping from this weapon within 10 seconds of killing an enemy grants 40% critical hit chance. What does that mean, guys? So you need to put 20% crit chance on your build right so every time we proc this we are getting 60 percent crit chance so that's the max that's the cap then we get 50 percent crit damage on top of that for a whole 15 seconds you can kill an entire wave of enemies in that time with this build the thing about it is though is you don't have to stack crit chance on your actual build what does that mean it means you can stack other things like for example armor health or crit damage so we can get higher numbers because crit damage is how we're going to be hitting those really really good numbers now when we actually use this and i get obliterate procking i can hit upwards of 900,000 damage with this gun and that's spamming it and i think i can get higher uh, depending on how we use it now how does this build utilize all these elements so well 
I do apologize for this explanation, guys, but I really need to get into this. It's very interesting how this works. So when we kill someone with the pistol, we're going to be proccing the perfect finisher using our primary. But if you guys are weak, and you, because we've got low armor, we've only got 270k armor, when you kill someone with your pistol, obviously then you're going to swap. But when you get a kill, we're going to be using this. So this is perfect blacksmith. So killing an enemy with your sidearm, we will get 60% of, of our armor. It can occur every 10 seconds. So it's extremely good. We're going to be getting 60% of our armor, all that crit chance and crit damage for our primary. And then plus we're going to be using entrenched. So we're going to be getting more armor, a further 15% armor stacking on top of that. So we're going to be getting our health just ticking all the time. We're going to be regenerating health like you cannot believe doing massive amounts of damage. You're probably thinking, well, I can make a rifle build that hits for 1 million. It's possible to hit close to 1 million, maybe more if you guys have a better version of this. But remember, I will out heal you. I'll be able to heal so much. The utility of this build will only be seen by the most hardcore PvE players. And I'm sure you guys will enjoy this. It can feel clunky at first, but it's really, really fun to use. So as you can see, uh, we have got two RNH. Why is that? We have that because of the 20% pistol damage. So that'll help us get the kill with our pistol. All right, then... DNH, why do we have that two-piece? Everything's here for a reason, guys. 10% crit damage because we want to stack as much crit damage as possible. So I hope you guys understand how this build works. Hazard protection is important because when I get put on fire, I go down. Uh, we don't want to use the Hollow Man mask because this is just too good. Uh, the perfect concussion, massive amounts of headshot damage. I can't pass this up and I don't need hazard protection because I'm always healing myself so well with the rifle. So guys, now that the explanation's gone through, let me actually go over the pieces. So make sure, like I said, to mod crit damage, much crit damage as possible. The mask, DNH. Remember guys, crit damage, perfect concussion. This has got 37% damage to elites, 29k health. Insane. This actually is really good for rifles, especially like this one, because you can spam it. Uh, you get, you have two seconds to proc it again. So you want to make sure you were hitting your shots every two seconds. Uh, it's obviously a, a bit better if you put a legger on the gun, I guess. So it's up to you guys if you want to roll that. Very, very nice. 10% crit damage, 29k health, because health will be quite important on this build for PvE, because if you get put on fire, we don't have 100% hazard protection, so getting put on fire is a bit tricky. But, you know, if you're a good player, you'll know to keep hitting your headshots to proc that uh, entrenched. So make sure to do that, because uh, it is a bit tricky. That's why we have health, because our armor is regenerating so much that having a nice little baseline of health helps us a bit. So it's pretty good. Moving on to the chest piece now. Now, the reason why I've gone for this is because it was a bit tricky getting uh, three blues with crit damage for me. So if you guys want, you'll probably get a better chest piece. You don't need this 10% skill power. This is just the only piece that kind of matched this build for me. So insulate is very good. Obviously, you guys can put whatever you want now. Pristine, uh, perfect vigilance would be a good option. But let me tell you now, that doesn't work with this build that well because you're taking damage. So it'll disable the buff very often. Now, it will work very well, but I, I just felt it disabled it too much. So I'm just giving you guys other options. Remember, you need to have enough blues to make the uh, holster talent work. So that's why it makes it a bit tricky. So just make sure that you decide and make sure you have enough blues and reds. It's up to you guys. So I've got 28k health, 28k armor, 9.5% crit damage. Quite low, but it is what it is. RNG, I need better RNG. I need to grind some more. What can I say, guys? So we're going to be modding this for armor, total armor and health regen. Explosive damage, which doesn't really matter. 136. I, I didn't even bother with my utility mod slot. You guys can stack as much as you want. Maybe get enough to make your chem heal a little bit stronger. It's up to you guys to build upon it. I don't really bother because I'm healing myself left, right and center with my rifle for perfectly entrenched. So once that's out of the way, this is what you guys need to forge. So you need going to need quite a few pieces to make this build. 15% crit chance. Why are we rolled crit chance? You could actually get a high crit damage roll on here. But remember, we need that 20% to make up for it. Because we want to be critting to utilize the crit damage. So if you guys, let's say, have crit chance rolled in your chest piece, it's up to you to roll crit damage on this. So just remember that. We want to get as, as long as you have 20% crit chance then you can reroll as much crit damage as you want then perfect blacksmith we're going to be getting our 60 percent of our armor back every time we use our pistol to proc the perfect finisher so it's just really fun how all of this works rifle damage three percent very nice then we're going to go to the backpack uh, this is an r and k backpack very nice we get the 20 percent pistol damage 25k armor five percent crit chance and four percent weapon damage crit damage would be better 
But hey, you guys, if you guys get a better backpack because efficient and hard hitting are two of the most important talents right now because we're going to be using a lot of med kits to save us, especially if you're playing solo. So it's very important. And we need hard hitting as well because we need that extra DTE because this is for the difficult content. Explosive resistance, total armor, and decent armor roll. That's a beautiful mod. I wish I had more. So hopefully we get this in the shop one day, but make sure to stack explosive resistance if you guys can. I know it's not easy, but make sure to try and do it if you possibly can. Then the gloves. Now this is where it gets interesting as well. More crit damage, rifle damage, 12%, almost max rolled. Very happy with that. Crit chance, obliterate. This is where we're going to be getting a lot of our crit damage, guys. So depleting an enemy's armor grants plus 30% critical hit damage for 15 seconds. Four or more reds. 30% crit damage. Imagine, guys, on top of that, we're going to be getting, I think it's 50% from the orbiter, the orbit uh, pistol. So we're going to be getting so much crit damage. We're going to, you're going to be seeing massive numbers when you when you win this proc so you have actually have to deplete an enemy's entire armor bar so it, it lasts for 15 seconds though, so it matches up with the gun so uh, the, sorry the holster time to get your health so it's uh, your armor back so it's pretty good it works really well so make sure you use obliterate any kind of rifle build with crit with obliterate is great now the fox's player this is we need this guys we need this to recover our low armor so make sure to proc this on it's 12k armor perfectly entrenched headshots from cover repair 15 percent of your armor requires a rifle or marks and rifle put rifle damage very nice we get chunks of armor back uh, let's go into the stats quickly now remember guys there are different ways to make rifle builds i know you could probably make a higher damage outputting build uh, that is just spammable, but it's all about the fun. I want to try bring to the table some different kinds of builds, not use the same rubbish all the time. So let, I'm just happy with this build. I'm very happy about it. I hope you guys really give it a try and just, just to have some fun and just to play a bit differently. It's very it's satisfying when you do this. If you guys didn't know that, I see people running the same builds through the same missions, through the same PvP all the time. I don't know how you guys are on board. Maybe that's why people are complaining. See, right there, the golden spot is 20% crit chance. 65% uh, crit damage now remember obliterate will give us so much more so that don't be fooled by that we're going to be hitting so much more than that stability 30% for console players that's a must it's not easy to control these rifles sometimes very very nice rifle damage bonus 44% all weapon 6.5 that is massive considering we, we're going to be focusing on crit damage guys 62% damage to elite it's not too great but it's it's good enough it's good enough if you guys get more you could do more damage so don't worry about the skills uh, i'm going to go through this quickly if you guys want to pause and have a look nothing too special but yeah the skills we're going to be using the tactician the drone very important uh, you use this it really does help you see because enemies flank you out of nowhere guys so this gives us 80 percent duration and 80 percent skill haste 30 seconds is pretty good for something that lasts for 540 seconds i'll take that any day of the week then use whatever other skill you want. I put a Reviver Hive just to give me a second chance if I go down. So just make sure you proc that if you need it. And then um, let's go to the... Let's just quickly go. I want to show you guys something quickly. Uh, you might find this a bit interesting. We might uh, You might see some numbers that you've never seen before uh, considering the utility of this build. So we're going to just quickly change this to the Elite. And then we're just going to quickly proc this now. We're going to damage myself. So you see, there's a lot of things going on here. It's going to be a challenge at first, but you guys will have fun with it. So what we're going to do is we're going to be killing an enemy. So you can see this thing does massive amounts of damage. So once you've done that, you swap to your rifle. See perfect finisher. Look at that damage, guys. 600k. 750k. It's crazy. 1 million DPS, and that's just... I know you can get that from doing something else, but I love the way this works. Now, I, I think... There's so many options available for this uh, orbit pistol, like maybe even an Aces and Eights. Maybe we can get over that uh, 18 million damage from the Aces sniper build. So there's a, just a few possibilities. I wanted to share this build with you guys. It's a bit of a different one, a bit of a more a more fun build to use. I've just been having a lot of fun using this. Uh, but anyways, guys, that'll be it for this build video. I hope you guys do try the orbit rifle build. It's very fun to use, and I hope you guys do enjoy it. So make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more Division 2 content, and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Peace out, boys.